What is up guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how to make running animations in Dreams PS4. First I want to tell you guys that you can actually mirror your uh, your selections of movements to where if I move this hand it moves the other hand over there. So once you create a puppet the correct way, which you can look on my tutorial for that, feel free to, how to create a puppet, um, then you can do this kind of stuff with your own puppets. So basically this is how you make the running animation really easy. First I want to talk about how I did this part, which the running animation actually stopped only because I lengthened it. You'll have to shorten it down if you want it to loop correctly. So what I did was after I got the first two frames, I uh, just copied it in reverse. If that makes sense, I'll show you what I mean um, once I find the copy tool. So what I would do is I would select all these then I just copy it in reverse. That way it uh, pretty much, you know, then I put it in the t in the right time mo mo movements, you know what I'm saying, where it all fits perfectly. And how you get this line in the middle here, it's actually just this and this setting. So that's how everything's moving correctly. You also have to make sure nothing is selected in order for it to loop. Or you could just press circle to do all that. And then you have to do this and then pretty much it'll loop correctly. And then you can mess with the speed to where Sonic's uh, running animation will uh, be perfect, you know what I'm saying? You can mess with the speed also. And I'm sure there's a way to where um, it can, you can say keep the changes of the last frame or not keep the changes, and then you can you know mess around with it, create more frames as you need to accordingly. How did I actually get the moving, um, how did I get everything, you know, how the legs, uh, how I get the legs running perfectly like that? I'll show you that too right after I click on this because I want to make sure that you guys see one more thing. It's one more detail that I want to point out. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other tutorials. I have sculpt tutorials, music tutorials, and so much more. So you can choose to keep the changes. You can choose uh, how fast you want the legs to uh, you know, go in. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's an ease out thing too. So maybe on the last frames, click ease in or ease out or something. Uh, choose whichever one and then uh, that should help with the running animation too. Uh, make sure you don't have anything selected, all that great stuff, and then you could speed it up by this timeline. Make sure you have a timeline laid down. Sometimes that'll happen. That means you have to press L1 and that's on a few times until you just see the lines link up for the timeline itself. You can open the timeline or you can tweak it. We just want to mess with the speed, so there we go. You also want to make sure it's on loop. It's on it, so you know you want it to go fast as possible. You might be able to change the speed even higher by pressing L1 and square on that right there. I'm not sure, I guess only 200, but that's cool. So how did I actually get the running animation so smooth, so perfect to where it's running like that? And I did not do the hands. I did not do the hand swing back or make the body lean in. You could do that in a separate keyframe. Then uh, put it inside of, put all the, put like, let's say we have the running feet animation right here. And then we have the hand animation right here. And then we have the lean in body right here and it's all three timelines, then we can put all that inside of another timeline to where it's all the same thing. So that's how you do all that. Um, but now we're gonna talk about how I got everything moving so smoothly. So I just really only made four keyframes and copied it as you guys see, and then I made it linear to make those lines right there. Then I made sure nothing was selected in order to get it running. As you can see now, it's running in the background. And then I shortened it again, uh, so that way it loops, you know. I'm saying all this again just so it gets, you know, reeled in your head so that way you guys can see just how easy it is. Um, and feel free to rewatch the video as many times as you need. So how I actually got this all to work accordingly, so I'm gonna undo every little thing except for maybe one or two keyframes. I may have even did the keyframes separate outside of a timeline just because it was easier for me to do that. So we'll see how I did it. And those are the settings. If you want to copy my settings, you can pause the video. So what did I do? Yeah, I did those keyframes outside of the timeline. Then I put them into the timeline and aligned everything. Bottom leg right here, top leg like right up here. Make sure you think of it as Photoshop like layers. And then for this right here, how I actually moved it back was I would select 
Um, maybe I should just like get another keyframe out and show you guys this part. So whenever I'm getting my keyframes, I would then click on this, press L1 and X until I could select just one thing. Then I press R2. Usually that doesn't happen. Usually it doesn't move with it. Sometimes glitches like that will happen. I know there's a button probably to uh, realign. I think it's either L1 triangle, L1 square. You can try it. Like it's one of the, it, it's something like L1 square, uh, R2 square, L2 square, uh, R1 square, and then triangle or maybe, you know. But uh, how I did it was I pressed, um, you know, R2 after getting it selected. Oh, it's in mirror mode. Make sure it's not in mirror mode. And then pretty much I just move it back. Um, usually all I'd have to do is move it back. Like I wouldn't, I didn't have to do too much with Sonic. And then that's all I did for uh, the first leg. And then I made sure that was perfect. It only records the last movement. So that was Sonic's leg moving backwards. And then, uh, so that would be this leg, Sonic's leg moving backwards. And then let's say for another keyframe, this right here is Sonic's leg moving forward. Then I get it perfect, make sure it's perfect. And then that's how I did that. Then we got two keyframes. That's how I would do the second keyframe. And then I would do it the opposite for these legs. So for these legs, it would be moving backwards for this one while this one's moving forward. And this one would be moving backwards while this one's moving forward. So that way it looks uh, smooth. And then pretty much once I was done, I'd align it all within the timeline. And that's pretty much how you make running animations in Dreams PS4. Again, you can mirror it. If you want to move the hands at the same time, press mirror and uh, it should all go back at the same time. So once you get everything completed, And again, you might have to press L1 and X in order to move things into it correctly. Once I got everything completed, I would just uh, align everything correctly. The closer it is, the faster it is, of course. I make sure everything was like pretty much perfect. And then I think if you press all the three frames at the same time, and I might have accidentally uh, put them in at the wrong place, so. If I did, then forgive me. Then if you press all of them at the same time, press square, it should affect all of them. Yeah, see, it affects all of them. And then you could, uh, we'll try ease in this time just to see what it does. And then uh, don't forget to shorten it to whatever length you need to shorten it to. Make sure nothing is selected, just press circle, then you should be able to play it. And then I'd copy it in reverse to make it smooth, you know what I'm saying? Then I'd just speed it up on the actual timeline back here, wherever that timeline is. So it's right here. Then I just speed this up, put it on loop. But you know, we copied it in reverse. And again, it's really easy really really easy don't forget to check out my other animation tutorials and subscribe guys um copy button up here and I also test out your games and streams so come to the stream if you want me to test something copy the wrong thing copy the wrong thing again make sure you have the right stuff selected And then I, I just, you know, move it accordingly. And then, you know, make sure you have nothing else selected. And there you go, running animation. And then you can test out all this stuff up here. You can make it as smooth as you want to make it. That's what happens if you have none. I think I may, it might only be affecting one. Yeah. Make sure you have all of them uh, clicked. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it.
I think you can hold X to like select everything. Yeah, hold X to select everything. Then press square and do whatever you need to do up here. And press circle. There you go. And that's how you can do all that and pretty much simple running animation for your guys' games and you can do the like, arms and stuff. Do all that stuff, make it perfect, and this is it. This is how you make running animation in Dreams PS4 keyframes. Peace out, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my playlist for logic, music, sculpt tutorials. You'll learn in 10, 20 minutes or less. Um, gameplay template tutorials. Make games out of media molecules templates. Um, paint tutorials. I'm probably missing one. I'm probably missing one. I feel like I'm missing one. We got it all. Camera tutorials, still missing one. Animation tutorials like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and for the animation tutorials on, you know, Action Recorder. Uh, I even have a lip sync uh, tutorial too, so I'm talking about with the mic. I should have that up soon. For more of these, check out the animation tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.